Hi, my name is Troy Anderson. I'm the founder of Revelation Watchers and Prophecy Investigators. Uh, today, I'm going to bring to you a, a very interesting story called The Trump Code, Decoding the Future of America Through Prophetic Revelation and Military Strategy. As the author of The Trump Code and several other books that dive deep into Bible prophecy and America's spiritual and political future, I found myself captivated by a recent interview between President Donald Trump and Patrick Bet David on the PBD uh, podcast. This conversation offered a rare glimpse into Trump's thoughts on America's trajectory, and as I listened, I couldn't help but connect the dots with the prophetic insights from my previous works, including Revelation 9-11, which I co-authored with Pastor Paul Bailey, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, and The Military Guide to Armageddon, <clears throat> that I co-authored with Colonel David Giamona, and my earlier books, uh, Trumpocalypse and the Babylon Code, uh, co-authored with Bible prophecy expert uh, Dr. Paul McGuire. This, this interview wasn't just a casual conversation. It was a profound moment where Trump openly discussed the spiritual and moral decline of America, the manipulation by global elites, and the existential threats we face as a nation. His dialogue with Bette David mirrored many of the themes I've written about in my books, particularly the convergence of political, spiritual, and military forces that are shaping the end times. Trump made a key point when he said, Our country has been poisoned, addressing not just political corruption, but a broader spiritual malaise affected the nation's soul. This perfectly aligns with what Pastor Paul Bailey and I delve into in Revelation 9-11. In that book, we explore how the book of Revelation is unfolding before our eyes, drawing connections between ancient prophecies and today's headlines. Just as Trump recognized America's spiritual decay, Revelation 9-11 highlights the moral breakdown of society, global conflicts, and political upheavals as part of a divine narrative warning of us of what's to come. Another significant moment during the interview was when Trump said, the real threat isn't global warming, the real threat is nuclear warming. This statement echoes the themes of military readiness and preparedness that Colonel Giamona and I discussed in the Military Guide to Armageddon and the Military Guide to Disarming Deception. Both books are designed to equip believers with spiritual and tactical strategies to withstand the deceptions and warfare that will intensify in the last days. As Trump spoke about nuclear conflict and other real-world dangers, we read about the importance of not just understanding physical warfare, but also being prepared for the spiritual battles in the unseen realm. Trump also touched on the interactions of global elites like Tim Cook and Elon Musk, who are shaping the future of the world. This reminded me of the discussions in the Babylon Code and Trumpocalypse with Paul McGuire, where we investigate how global elites are advancing a Babylonian-style system of governance. This system, prophesied in the Bible, is paving the way for the rise of the Antichrist and a one-world government. Trump's revelations about these power players and the real forces shaping politics affirm the conclusions we've drawn about the shadowy forces at work today. Bet David asked Trump some tough questions about America's future, particularly regarding the economy. Trump discussed how America's economic strength has been undermined by poor leadership and global elites. He emphasized the importance of energy independence, tax reforms, and trade deals that prioritize America first policies that moved the country forward during his administration. This ties into the spiritual warfare discussed in Your Mission in God's Army, where every Christian faces the battle to stand up for righteousness, even when the odds seem insurmountable. One of the most important moments in the interview came when Trump spoke about his legacy. He stressed the importance of the upcoming election, warning that it's a pivotal moment for America. Could this be the election where the African-American vote, historically leading Democratic, shifts toward the Republican Party? Trump seems to think so, citing how left-wing policies have betrayed the communities they claim to help. This reflects the ideas in the Trump Code, where I discuss how America stands at a prophetic crossroads. Facing a choice between continued moral and spiritual decay or a return to the principles that made this nation great. When the topic turned to foreign policy and the threats posed by China, Russia, and Iran, Trump spoke about his approach to these adversaries, using military strength and diplomacy to keep America's enemies in check. This resonates with the themes in the Military Guide to Armageddon, where Colonel Giamone and I explain how believers must be ready to handle both physical and spiritual warfare in these tumultuous times. Trump's strategy, rooted in strength, mirrors the biblical principle of standing firm in faith and being prepared for the battles ahead, both militarily and spiritually. The interviews also touched on the media's role in shaping narratives and controlling public opinion. Trump reiterated how the powerful the media is in influencing, misleading, and manipulating the masses. In Trumpocalypse of the Babylon Code, 
Dr. McGuire and I delve into how the media has become one of the global elite's primary tools to control the narrative and advance their agenda. Trump's warning about fake news aren't just political talking points. They reflect the spiritual battle for truth that's raging in today's world. At the core of Trump's message is a belief that America can be restored, but only if we would confront the real dangers that threaten its survival. The idea is central to all my works, whether through the prophetic lens of Revelation 9-11, the spiritual and, spiritual and military preparedness of the Military Guide to Armageddon, or the expose of global elites in Tripocalypse and the Babylon Code, the message is clear. We must stand strong in our faith, remain vigilant, and be prepared for the battles ahead. In closing, Trump's interview on the PBD podcast isn't just a moment in time. It's a wake-up call for America. Whether you support Trump or not, the insights he shared about our nation's future are undeniable. If you want to understand what's coming and how you can play a role in shaping America's destiny, I encourage you to watch the interview and dive deeper into the revelations of my books, The Trump Code, Revelation 9-11, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarm and Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and the Babylon Code all offer valuable insights and strategies for navigating the complex spiritual, political, and military challenges that lie ahead. Stay vigilant, stay prayerful, and remember, America's future is not set in stone. It's up to us to rise, take action, reclaim our nation's destiny for God's glory. In addition to these warnings, I've been sounding the alarm to the Trump Code and my other works, calling attention to the urgent need for America to return to its foundational values, both spiritually and politically. One of the most cr critical steps in this journey is, is our call for 40 Days to Save America, a campaign I've initiated to stir the hearts of Christians and awaken churches to their responsibility in shaping our nation's destiny. I've called for churches and, and Christians across the nation to break their silence on the issue of the presidential election and the importance of voting. For too long, churches have avoided engaging in politics, fearing controversy or division. But if we as Christians don't speak up on leadership, governance, and morality, we're letting the culture shape the future in ways that contradict biblical values. The 40 Days to Save America campaign of prayer, fasting, and repentance is mobilizing believers to pray, fast, and most importantly, vote. We need to recognize that this election isn't just about political parties. It's about the future of freedom, morality, and the biblical truth in America. I've called on churches to speak openly about the importance of voting from a biblical perspective. This isn't about endorsing a candidate. It's about ensuring every believer understands their responsibility in electing leaders who uphold God's principles. I urge pastors, ministry leaders, and Christians across the nation to heed this call. The 40 Days to Save America campaign is a rallying cry for the church to step into the public square. We must be the voice of truth, standing for biblical values in every area of society. The battle for America's soul isn't just being fought in Washington, D.C. The battle for America's soul is, is being fought in our homes, churches, and communities. It's a battle we must win. I encourage you to find out more about uh, our ministry and, and, and my books at uh, troyanderson.us. We have the uh, great newsletters, uh, revelationwatchers.com and prophecyinvestigators.com. You can read lots of great articles and, and watch uh, great, great, powerful videos. And we, we thank you for your time and, and God bless you. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with him or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again, and I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public. Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. 
In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 9-1-1, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us, and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you.